It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up L.A. Unscripted? is a city of trendsetters. From fitness to fashion to food, we're on the search to find you the next best thing. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon. Thanks for hanging out with me today as we take you all around sunny SoCal. First stop, think sushi bar, but with ceviche. Um, yes please. So when they gave me this fishy dare, I took the bait and ate it. My name is Octavio Libas, and I'm the chef owner of Ceviche Project in Cibber Lake. And Dana, we dare you to come and be a cevichera. Most of the time, ceviche, it's almost the same ingredients, the same the way it looks in Mexico, how they do it. So I try to, you know, go to the next level. Ceviche Project opened in April 2019 in Silver Lake. So pre-pandemic, tell me, set the scene for what it would be like in here. Before COVID, you know, it was, I mean, this place is 480 square feet and we will feed 28 people. So imagine putting 20 people, loud music, and two guys, you know, like, we call them, we call ourselves cevicheros, you know, we make ceviche, so we're cevicheros, we're not chefs. The vibe is just, kind of feels like New York City when like, you're like cramped in like the tables. You know, I'm originally from Mexico and, you know, I grew up there and going to the beach, going fishing with my dad and make ceviche on the beach. So I moved out of Mexico, went to London, New York. I was in New York, I started eating these amazing ingredients in sushi restaurants and I figured maybe I can do ceviche with this quality of product and that's how we started. I mean, definitely the Peruvian scallop shooter is, is like the best seller. We put tangerine, pomegranates, micro cilantro, olive oil, and just like shoot it. The campachi tostada is, is one of the best, you know, has avocado mousse on the bottom. Kind of like, it's like a Mexican Japanese tostada. All of this is like, like the best food I've ever eaten. So Dana, are you ready to be a cevichera? No, because I still want to keep eating. Normally, you know, when you're learning to opening oysters, you, grab, you use a towel. I just did surgery. Dr. Devin to the oyster OR stat. Okay, this one didn't come out so good. That one was, that one you know, did. It, it happens. I've you lost know. my medical privileges yeah. in this hospital. We're gonna teach you how to make a, the ceviche lawn. It's a combination, you know, of uh, a ceviche and a michelada. A scoop some shrimp, Persian tomato cucumber, uh, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Then we're gonna do the michelada, the michelada sauce. This is our secret mix. And then the beer. This is the best invention ever. This is amazing. Oh my God, you guys, it was so good. And the michelada ceviche, I dare you to try it. Some of the best sushi and ceviche I've ever had. All right, what is on your Dana Dare list? Reach out, I'll try anything-ish. From Good Eats to something else LA knows a lot about, great hair. Ali Webb introduced us to the perfect blowout with Dry Bar in 2010, and now she's sharing her newest creation, jewelry, in tonight's In The Know. I'm Allie Webb, and I am the co-founder of Beckett and & Quill. And I'm Meredith Quill. The company really started as me sitting in my kitchen, feeding my kids and making jewelry on the side. <laughs> it was really small, and I had thought about growing it and scaling it, but I had no idea how and zero experience on how to do that. First and foremost, you know, I feel like I'm known for dry bar and hair, and I, I've been a professional hairstylist forever. I've just developed a love for jewelry. And then the idea of having this be like my business and, and help, you know, grow Meredith's vision of what she's created, like it was so appealing to me. I discovered Meredith about a year ago when someone actually sent me this black heart that she's wearing, and I thought this is the prettiest thing I've seen in a long time. And where did it come from? So long story short, Meredith and I became 
friend and I just felt like with my experience and what I've learned so much with growing dry bar and squeeze that I could help, you know, rebrand this company from, you know, and take it to the next level. You know, and she just has such a great eye. And the, but the, the beauty of I think what, what Meredith has done and now what we've done with Beckett and Quill is like we're taking these pieces that look and feel very expensive and high end, but she has figured out how to make them affordable. You know, unlike our disc necklace, which is a really big seller, it's this beautiful, you know, gold filled piece and it has a white sapphire in it, which looks like a diamond. We say high end, not high spend. Yeah. There's really something for everybody, which we take a lot of pride in like with blowouts when your hair looks good you feel good and we feel like that with jewelry too if you have you know a really beautiful new piece of jewelry it gives you this like kind of pep in your step all right coming up a snack that is good for you and good for the environment from the creators of harmless harvest coconut water and while we're on a healthy kick olivia kicks it into high gear plus a little something for your sweet tooth that's coming up back to LA Unscripted as we explore everything amazing about our city. Now in Healthy Vibes, a snack with no guilt. Megan got the skinny on this salmon treat. Justin Gilbert, tell me all about good fish. I'm obsessed with the idea that I could eat something that I love, which is salmon, and I can like carry it around with me. The thought behind good fish was the skin of the salmon is probably the most nutritious, actually the most delicious part of the salmon if it's prepared correctly. Okay. What if we made chips out of that skin? What if we flavored it like, you know, the best potato chip or the best tortilla chip? And would we have something that's uh, worth putting in our in our pantry, worth putting in our bag. Went up to Alaska, started talking to the fishermen out there in Bristol Bay that are fishing sockeye salmon, which is a very sustainable fishery, and okay. uh, asked them, what are you doing with those skins? And they're like, well, I'll tell you the truth, man, not much. You're throwing out the gold here. We actually just came out with a new seasoning that came out of conversations with our followers, and it's sriracha lemongrass, and everybody's going nuts yes. for it. But, so it's been I a good year. I love me a, a good hot year. sauce. A spicy barbecue is probably the most American slash elevated barbecue idea I could find up. You know, I'm like, <laughs> it tastes like barbecue, but it's it's fancy. It's got that. It's fancy. Like a fancy barbecue. We talk about the good flavors and how it's obviously good for your body. When we talk about the skin of the salmon, you went over that. How is good fish? helping out the environment. Really simple when you think about it. We're just fostering interest in sustainable, renewable fisheries. Thank you so much for uh, somehow inspiring me to want to eat better so I can help the environment. High in protein, perfect for on the go. Okay, now Olivia takes us to the trails for a lesson on mountain biking and they say anyone can do it. Hmm, I'll be the judge of that. My favorite things about Southern California is the outdoor activities, and today I'm learning a new one. Mountain bike, it's an extreme sport, but don't be alarmed. Anyone can do it. If you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, they have bikes for you. You can just get on your bike and just enjoy nature, and that's what I like about the sport. That is mountain biking. What makes Southern California so perfect for this sport? First of all, the weather. Now that I reside in Simi Valley, I'm taking advantage of the entire uh, mountain range. Everywhere I look, it's just a trail. So here in Simi Valley, we have all kinds of terrain. So anyone can do the sport. If it's like, well, I want to try it for the first time, just grab a bike. It doesn't have to be a $10,000 bike. It could be a bike from your local uh, sports store. Mountain biking has helped me during COVID times to stay healthy. Again, spending a lot of time at home with the family. You still need to exercise to keep up with those kids. And uh, so this is a great sport. It's free, it keeps you healthy, it gives you stamina. 
you're going to give me a beginner's guide to mountain biking, right? Absolutely. What is the first step? The very first step, Olivia, is size. So why don't you go ahead and take a seat okay. to make sure that is your size. You also want to make sure, which is very, very important, you want to learn how to brake. When you perform the sport of mountain biking, you always want to have control of the bike. You want to brake with these two fingers only. You always look ahead. Helmets on, let's do it. And tell me about Raw Apparel. What kind of things do you sell and what, what do you have there? If you go to rawapparel.com, you'll see that we sell sweaters, t-shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, beanies. So this is for everyone who loves exercising. If you go at the very top of the website, you'll see we not only sell clothes, but we, sit, we are selling you a lifestyle. By now, you guys have probably noticed, I like to stay active and will pretty much try anything. which means I've got to have health insurance. So today I'm checking in with our friends at LA Care Health Plan to talk about the importance of having health coverage. LA Care has been serving uh, Los Angeles County for nearly 25 years, and we are glad to be part of Covered California. Now more than ever, it's extremely important to get health care coverage, and they need to act now, before the January 31st deadline. We have uh, benefits through Covered California. Um, we have access to the UCLA Health Network at the moment, um, where they have access to the specialists, to the doctors, to the hospitals, and also to the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. On top of that, we also have access uh, for the members to use our CVS mini clinics at certain CVS locations. And then on top of that, we have Teladoc, which is a 24 seven service that it's available to them and they can do it through phone or video chat. Well, I can tell you from personal experience how important it is to have health coverage. I remember getting into an accident in 2014 ended up going to the emergency room and when I got that bill I was like thank the Lord I had health insurance. And we hear that story from all of our members all the time and that is the reason why LA Care focuses on providing affordable and quality of care for all of Los Angeles County and we have plans starting at zero dollars a month. Wait zero dollars? Yes zero dollars per month. For zero dollars I might be switching to LA Care. I love it. I feel like you guys are making it really simple for people to enroll. It's really easy to enroll. All they need to do is call the number 1-855-920-4893 and we have representatives available to answer all of their questions. All they need is basic information, their household size, uh, their income and their zip code. We're available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, Karen, thank you so much for sharing with LA Unscripted about how they can get covered. Yes, at LA Care, we want to ensure that all Angelinos get covered before the January 31st deadline. So call now, we have our representatives available. All right, coming up, the sweetest bakery in Inglewood that was created with love from a former Los Angeles school teacher. And we're here to spill secrets on the top beauty tricks and tools to help you look and feel your best. LA Unscripted, we've got you covered from sweets to beauty and getting in touch with your inner foodie. See what I did there? Poet and didn't know it. We'll be right back. Three days before squeezing into a gown for a red carpet, I recommend no salt, no alcohol, and maybe a little fasting, leaving 12 to 13 hours without any food consumption, and tons and tons and gallons of water, and lots of sleep for much beauty in your face. Okay, I've made no secret that I have a tremendous sweet tooth. I admit it, it's a problem, I'm like a child. But when gyms like family owned and operated Sweet Red Peach and Inglewood create the most decadent desserts, I can't deny my cravings. Favorite flavors here, oh my gosh. What, where do I start? The rent pair is the German chocolate. Red velvet is always going to be my all-time favorite because that was my first. It was the first time I ever experienced with scratch baking. Our cookies, our, our puddings, we do everything from scratch. We make our candies, everything, our fillings, our frostings, everything is made with love from scratch. My 
My name is Carolyn Plummer, and I'm the owner of Sweet Red Peach. Oh my gosh, the aha moment. <laughs> well, I had never baked a scratch cake before in my life prior to 1999. At that time, I was a teacher for 17 years in the great city of Compton, and my colleagues were my first customers. Sweet Red Peach started off as a a crazy idea of mine, and I, it's just grown to the point that we demand the best from ourselves, and we want to give the best to our customers. I'm born and raised in Inglewood. I'm an Inglewood native. When I was scouting locations, Inglewood definitely was my first choice. And they've been great. You know, the community supports, especially with the stadium coming also. They've been really a great support system, the community in general. One of our biggest supporters has been Big Sean. We've done all his parties, all his gatherings, and done the cake for Chris Brown and royalty, his daughter. I love what I do. And Sweet Red Peach is just love. It's my heart, it's my soul. It's just the love that we feel inside that we want to generate to our customers. All right, now I'm convinced that sugar is good for the complexion. I mean, at least that's what I tell myself. Now, Liberty has beauty secrets to swear by in tonight's In the Know. I'm Dr. Dindy Engelman. I'm a board certified dermatologist. Thank you so much for joining us and talking about these uh, tips for uh, better skin care. I know that you have a few products that you work with that you recommend. Let's start off with, it's called a zip device. What's that? So the zip device really helps to address fine lines, wrinkles, all the signs of aging, even acne scarring. A lot of people aren't old, but they've had some footprints and breakouts from before and they leave textural changes. So the zip helps to address those and really in the comfort of your own home. Let's talk about hair regrowth, because I know that's a big problem for a lot of people, uh, men, as well as women. A lot of people at home, you know, that especially during COVID with the increased cortisol and all the stress, people are losing their hair more frequently. And so there are ways to go about it, whether it's oral supplements, like something called Nutrafol. There's a new hair restore system called iRestore. You wear it like a cap and it's FDA approved. So it's cleared to help regrow hair. Lashes. I don't have a lot of lashes, but you say that you have something that will kind of open up your eyes and it's easy to do. Easy, easy way before your next video conference just to look brighter. And I have lashes on and I always joke that I can, you know, remove skin cancer on someone's face beautifully, but I could not put a strip lash on my own lash. And these little magnetic guys, it's called Luminesce, their lash lure. They have the magnets in the liner and you just paint it on like an eyeliner and literally stick these guys on. And it's so easy. When we look better, we feel better, right? Also, mask me. I'm getting a ton of acne on my chin, and it's all because, I think, because we're wearing those masks. One little known fact that a lot of it is actually from friction, from the mask rubbing across the skin. So it's kind of counterintuitive that proper cleansing and moisturizing actually can create a barrier to reduce that coefficient of friction and minimize breakouts. The other ways at home are to reach for over-the-counter actives like salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. Your viewers can know that they have access to doctors even without going into the office now with video conferencing and telemedicine. So I always encourage you, if you're struggling, reach out to us. We're here and we don't even have to be in your hometown. Thank you. So we can still have good skin even during these trying times, right? Don't lose faith. And, and when things get bad, pop on a lash. And speaking of fabulous, Jessica Holmes is always sharing her delicious recipes in the kitchen. Let's see what she's stirring up on California Cooking. Hey Dana, wouldn't you love to create restaurant quality meals at home? But sometimes you just don't have the time or the know-how. Well, our sponsors at Thermomix are gonna show us how. 
Hi, Christina. Hey, Jess. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. The machine, I think, is one of those things that it's kind of crazy how it does so many things. I know. Right? It I mean, is. you can kind of eliminate a lot of machines in your kitchen with that. So with the Thermomix, you can get rid of, you know, your stand mixer, your blender, your steamer, your food processor, <laughs> even your stovetop in wow. some cases. Um, you know, I am total amateur cook, and for me, okay. it like just makes it super simple because it guides you through the recipe, it weighs all your ingredients for you, it tells you exactly yeah. what to do, so it sort of takes the thinking of it, but at the same time, like professional chefs around the globe use it because it's super precise, allows you to blend it, cook at the same time, which is huge, mm -hmm. and so it really can be for everybody, but yeah. as like a total working mom here, it's like a, a game changer. Right. I wanted to see this appliance in action, so Christina showed me how to make risotto with broccolini. The Thermomix guided us through every step of the recipe, and this one-pot wonder took care of all of it. From grating the Parmesan cheese, chopping the garlic, shallots, and onions, sautéing the broccolini and sun-dried tomatoes, toasting and steaming the risotto. And in less than 30 minutes, the dish was completed and cooked to perfection. That creamy, mm -hmm. so creamy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add the broccoli rub okay. and the sundry tomatoes. I have all the like okay. delicious shallots and everything in here. Time Shall to taste, we? please. Be my guest. Perfectly cooked. Yes, it is perfectly cooked. So creamy, mm -hmm. flavorful. I love the like oils that are all yeah soaked into. Christina, well done. I'm glad Thank I didn't you. distract you too much. No, you're a great <laughs> assistant to my kitchen assistant, the Thermomix, so. You can't distract the Thermomix. No, you can't, exactly. <laughs> And that is it for us. We hope you enjoyed another adventure in all things SoCal. We love showing you around our amazing city, and we can't wait to go off script with you next time. We'll see you then. 